What all the Glee stars are up to to now? Glee premiered in 2009. Can you believe it? It's a musical comedy drama that first aired in 2009 and follows a ragtag group of high school students as they navigate sheet music and the drama of being a teenager. After six seasons, 121 episodes, and 728 musical performances, not to mention dozens of Emmy nominations and six wins, a handful of Golden Globes, and even more chalk-topping hits, it's safe to say that the show was a bona fide phenomenon. It's also safe to say that the series' stars played a role in its success. Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle's first starring role was as Rachel Berry, the self-appointed leader of the Glee Club with Big Dreams, but she had been acting, singing, and dancing professionally, including on Broadway, since she was a child. Her character's type A and occasionally <coughs> self-absorbed personality wasn't always liked by the other members of the New Directions or the show's viewers, but you have to admit, the girls got talent. Rachel's ambitions eventually led her to Broadway, where she received two Golden Globe nominations and one Emmy nomination for the role. But dealing with her newfound celebrity wasn't always easy. She told Ellen DeGeneres in 2013 about how difficult it was to properly mourn the death of her co-star and boyfriend, Corey Monteith, while being pursued by paparazzi. It's quite intense, Leah admitted on The Ellen Show. There are so many different emotions and having people watching you every step of the way. She said she felt safe returning to work on the show at the time because the cast and crew were like family to her. Leah has since kept herself busy in a way that Rachel would be proud of. Louder, her first studio album, was released in 2014 and Places, her second, was released in 2017. You might have seen her in TV and film roles, including another collaboration with Ryan Murphy for Scream Queens. Leah married businessman Zandi Reich in 2019, and the couple welcomed their first child in 2020. The actress's on-set behavior was criticized the same year after former co-stars came forward with allegations of passive-aggressive and sometimes outright aggressive and racist behavior, Variety reported at the time. Matthew Morrison You could argue that Glee would not exist without Will Schuster. The Spanish teacher at William McKinley High School is the one who has brought the school's Glee Club back to not only its former glory, but far beyond it. Mr. Shu also became a sort of father figure to the group's students while dealing with his own relationship drama, such as his now ex-wife faking a pregnancy and his feelings for his co-worker Emma. Matthew, like some of his co-stars, was best known for his Broadway roles prior to joining the show, and his performance in The Light in the Piazza earned him a Tony nomination. Matt released his own studio album after Glee before returning to Broadway as J.M. Barry in the musical adaptation of Finding Neverland. In 2019, he made his way to the UK, where he served as a dance captain on the reality competition show The Greatest Dancer for two seasons. Matt later reunited with Ryan Murphy for the ninth season of American Horror Story, and most recently, he played the Grinch in Dr. Seuss's The Grinch Musical on NBC. Kevin McHale In an interview with Out in March 2019, the 32-year-old actor explained that in previous years, when he hadn't publicly confirmed his sexuality, he felt pressured to sing about girls, or be less specific and avoid using pronouns in his lyrics. I'm going to talk about guys because I'm singing about guys, Mikhail told Out. I was so dissatisfied with what I was doing before that whenever I considered releasing music again, that's exactly what happened. I let myself write and sing freely and these songs emerged. In addition, Mikhail co-created Plus One, an app that makes it easier for friends to make plans and meet up. In 2019, he also appeared on the X Factor Celebrity, I was talking about it with Amber Riley about a couple of weeks ago, and she said it would be fun, Mikhail told People. She tried to make one a couple of years ago, but it didn't work out. It would be exciting to do it while raising funds for charity and performing a one-time concert. Naya Rivera Rivera has appeared as Colette Jones in Step Up High Water, a spin-off of the Step Up franchise, on YouTube Premium in recent years. She has also appeared as a guest star on Devious Maids and American Dad, and served as a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race in 2017. Rivera and her then-boyfriend Ryan Dorsey welcomed a son named Josie Hollis Dorsey in September 2015. The couple married in Mexico in 2014, but had a tumultuous divorce in the years that followed. Rivera filed for divorce from Dorsey in November 2016. The following year, she allegedly filed a request to have the divorce dismissed. Rivera filed for divorce again in November 2017, following an altercation that resulted in the actress being arrested and charged with misdemeanor domestic battery. The charges were eventually dropped. Rivera and Dorsey divorced in June 2018, and the two stars share custody of their son. Rivera revealed shocking details about her personal life and her time on Glee in her 2016 memoir, Sorry Not Sorry, Dreams, Mistakes, and Growing Up. Rivera stated that she had an abortion following her breakup with Dorsey, the two previously dated before splitting and rekindling their relationship years later, 
and returned to the Glee set the next day to continue working. She also discussed her past anorexia struggles, her friendship with Monteith, and her relationship with co-star and ex Mark Salling. Rivera was reported missing and being searched for at Lake Peru by the Ventura County Sheriff's Department in July 2020. Rivera rented a pontoon boat, and her son was discovered on it alone hours later. Five days later, a body was discovered, and authorities said they were confident it was Rivera. Please subscribe to our channel.